Hi guys, what I am making today is an, a blend of essential oils that is highly antibacterial, antifungal, antimicrobial. Those are all really good words, but you know it's antiseptic, disinfectant, germ killing, virus busting, that kind of thing. I'm not going to use the name of really what it's called because what, there is an essential oil company, I guess, that thinks that name is their property. So we'll use a synonym for it and we're going to call it robber's oil. How about that one? What I have, because I just made it up in this one, is 80 drops of clove bud oil, 70 drops of lemon oil, 40 drops of cinnamon bark oil, 30 drops of eucalyptus, 20 drops of rosemary oil, and then you can add 20 to 40 drops of any other kind that you want to put in there. I also added about 40 drops. I put 10 of lavender, I put 20 of jasmine, and then I made the remainder of the 40 of tea tree. I'm not a fan of the way eucalyptus smells or tea tree. Eucalyptus just reminds me of funerals, at least up here. And tea tree, huh, I appreciate it, but I don't like the smell so much. So the jasmine and lavender will kind of cover those up somewhat. Uh, so that's what I've done. And what I'm doing with this little bottle is I don't have a spray bottle left. I will pick one up tomorrow. But it is kind of getting to be the... <coughs> season you know so I wanted to go ahead and get this made up today while I have time to do so it's just going to be a robber's spray you can use this to spray your carts when you're at the checkout line I will be taking it in my purse because it's only a two ounce bottle um, I will be using it when I go to my doctor's office and you know things like that just helps keep germs and things away from you I use it on my hands as a sanitizer after shopping and after being out places too. And to make the spray, you need a two ounce bottle, spray bottle ideally, um, one teaspoon of witch hazel, 10 to 15 drops of oil, and then the rest of the bottle will have the distilled water. Just gonna shake them up and combine them. And like I said, I will be getting the uh, spray bottle tomorrow but I'm gonna go ahead this has already got the distilled water in it so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the witch hazel that's a teaspoon oh my goodness I didn't even spill it how about that did good today and then I just have a syringe it's got the essential oil in there, if I can get my hand out of the way. See in there? And so you want 10 to 15 drops. You can go over a little if you like. That was 15. I'm going to just shoot the rest back in the bottle that I took it out of. And guys, it is really just that simple. Um, Easy to make, easy to use. I do want to give a caution on here. Sorry, y'all, my phone rang. Um, one thing I want to say is regarding eucalyptus. Um, it has elements in it, components that are toxic. So you want to keep this way out of the reach of children, and they suggest you not use this on children under two years of age. But if you're going to make this up and going to test it out, um, the best eucalyptus to get that would be less harmful, because eucalyptus would be toxic for anyone to a degree, but you know when you're older we fight that stuff off a lot easier, but is eucalyptus citriodra, and I probably really butchered that name, I'll spell it, C-I-T-R-I-O. DRA. That is the safest if you're going to be doing this on children. But, you know, use caution. These oils are hot. 
and they will burn because I had some on my finger that I missed and I scratched my face and it's burning well it's kind of calming down now but it was burning under my eye you don't dilute these things with water you dilute them with more oil grab your cooking oil or something and, and get it on because water is not going to stop the burning from these it's oil that will dilute them down to um, where that burning will stop that's all I have for you today God bless you have a good day